conferences to bring the a government and uh, institu institution like um, IIT, IIT Madras and uh, the private, large private uh, companies and professional bodies like uh, AC International and uh, uh, Project Management Institute all together to bring a, a framework and a support mechanism which could help uh, collect, uh, all of us collectively improve the project delivery that by saving uh, you know the money what was being wasted right with me mr uh, dk hoja who is from the uh, government of india uh, ministry of statistics and program implementation is the director for infrastructure uh, project monitoring division and mr subramanian sharma ceo and md uh, lnt head of uh, head of uh, and Mr. Madhupillai is the director of SNC uh, Lavalin. And Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao is uh, a Dean LNG uh, Institute of Project Management. And Dr. Nick Lavangia, who is a um, very well renowned uh, project management expert and who advised, uh, was worked as an uh, advisor for companies like Chevron. Uh, event and uh, delivered a keto cut dress and it gives the statistics of the projects over uh, you know the the, the projects which are under, uh, under implement, implementation and followed by a speech from the uh, you know a message from the honorable uh, minister uh, dg sudanda gowda and there's a the, after the presentation there was a lecture by uh, Professor Koshi Bergis, and uh, he said he mentioned how the role of uh, IIT would be, uh, you know, in helping uh, the industry improve its uh, standards. Followed by a, a lecture by a, a speech by Dr. Nick Nick, and by Mr. Subramanian Sharma of Ellen. So, I thought we could ask Mr. Oja to. Uh, give us a perspective into today's work. Today, uh, from Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, which is the nodal ministry for monitoring central sector projects, uh, we we are uh, you know, proud uh, privileged to be here, and we discussed and shared that how the time and cost to run is eating the money, which is hard earned money of common men. We should have been in other you know, utilized gainfully, but because of this time and cost over run, uh, because of poor planning, because of uh, not taking pre-project activities in time, or because of not preparing the DPRs, because of not taking enough of, uh, planning stages, approvals, how we are uh, losing our common man's money. So that was the uh, real message which I wanted to convey. And my minister, Honorable uh, Minister D.V. Sanandar Gauraji, he was also of the view that uh, if we are spending upfront on project planning, then suddenly the money which are uh, which are going, you can say, which are you know, cost to earn the form, which can be utilized. And a definite time frame, a clear cut, fast decision making process and some standardization in the projects. These two or three uh, key messages which I, I will try to take away uh, from this today's seminar. Is the decision making processes, the right decision is actually the strategy to come over the issue of time and cost to run and making the right use of saved money because money saved is money earned. So if we could save the money, if we could save the time, then suddenly the implementation part or the uh, objective envisaged by the project can directly reach to the common man within a given time. You know the names, I don't need to take those names. So <coughs> I think the, the financial, the, the, the banks have to get uh, recapitalized, uh, the government has to come with uh, a different uh, uh, 
uh, mechanism or models uh, to fund some of these projects. It could be like I mean, they are attempting several private uh, public partnership kind of things, and so those some of those ideas have to be further developed. And third and most important thing is also the contractors and the enterprises have to be having much higher fiscal discipline. I mean, uh, and, you know, you can't be you can't be running a business on a, a very leveraged portfolio. And most of the Indian companies you see, they have a very high leverage uh, ratio, which is not which is not healthy. I think we'll have to sort of bring that discipline yes. on all the three sides: I mean, uh, government, uh, the banks, and the and the uh, enterprises. All three of them have to work together to improve the content. Because uh, the country is in a in a in a in a path of uh, growth. Uh, huge funds are required. Uh, to to meet the aspirations of the people and, and our prime minister is driving those uh, and the new government is driving those and funding becomes extremely critical aspect of uh, uh, to deliver the success so i think all all three uh, stakeholders have to be very responsible in this and and, and on top of it the, the theme which we have today uh, is very central to that because once you make the funding available and once you have the projects and once you have the contractors, you need to deliver them very efficiently so that the resources are well gainfully employed and and and, uh, and you know the nation benefits from it. So I think that's that's a good way to have uh, very relevant to the times. And there's a lot of good uh, exchange of ideas and practices which we need to now uh, really implement and, and benefit from those.